And there's a missing link in the sense that um, if the patient comes back to the doctor and says, look, doc, this is not working, or I'm developing a rash as a result of the topical steroids, that doctor has an obligation to report that to the FDA as an adverse drug reaction. That's a missing link. That's not occurring. The FDA depends on doctors to gain knowledge about adverse reactions from patients. However, there will never be incidences of RSS being reported because when a patient explains their condition, doctors negate that it's real, which then in turn means nothing gets reported. Thankfully, we can eliminate the middleman and inform the FDA directly. Once on the FDA site, patients are able to easily report a problem by filling out the electronic 3500B form. Likewise, the USA is not the only country that reports these issues. Patients have shown that not only can TSW happen within just a few months of topical steroid use, but that Redskin syndrome can range from full body to certain localized areas. The FDA was also part of a startling memorandum in 2001, which showcased the abuse of 24 different topical steroids in pediatric patients who suffered from a varying range of different side effects. One little boy even died. 18 years later, we are still being treated beyond every recommendation, with no one being held accountable. And to think, on top of steroid abuse, doctors are able to go one step further.